Good morning from Beaver Lake, Nebraska, just south of uh, Omaha. This is where I find myself with my dad here for the week. And uh, as the saying goes, with age comes experience, and experience comes knowledge, and knowledge comes wisdom. And uh, in my 50 years of uh, experience and knowledge has, has brought me the wisdom to know that uh, it's the little things in life that really mean the most. You know, I, doing videos about places like, uh, you know, Australia or New Zealand or, or California or Budapest or any of those, that, that's all well and good. But uh, it, it's the little things that really mean the most. And, and the little things that, like, like the moment that I'm about to share with you. And uh, it is about 9.30 in the morning on Tuesday. And my dad and I arrived here two days ago. My dad's 86, for those just uh, tuning into my travels. But uh, my dad is 86, and um, he is the, uh, he is the, he's the greatest man I ever met. And I say that because he is the, the kindest, the most gentle, the most patient, and sometimes even the most funny uh, man that I ever met. So I've been uh, really blessed with this opportunity to spend a week or two with him. And um, it's, uh, it, hasn't been, um, it hasn't been easy, to say the least. You know, he is uh, very hard of hearing, so oftentimes I have to repeat. Um, myself two or three times just to, to communicate something to him but uh, my god he is so patient he is just uh, incredibly patient and so easy to accommodate and uh, yesterday he um, patiently sat in a supermarket you know reading a reading a newspaper or something while I sat over in the office doing some work and uh, today he knew that I was going to be waking up early. I woke up at 5 this morning and headed over to a local supermarket where I could do some work uh, early in the morning before heading into Omaha. And uh, he knew that last night as we were going to bed, and, and he told me that uh, I didn't need to come back because he, he knew I was going to come back with a paper. And Because uh, <laughs> there's no TV here. There's no TV here. There's no Internet. Not that he would know how to use the Internet, but there's no, uh, no TV, no Internet. Um, so he, he told me that he has the copy of the Reader's Digest, and we were able to get him a coffee maker. There was no coffee maker uh, here, so I was able to get him a coffee maker yesterday. So he woke up this morning probably at about 8 o'clock, thinking that he was going to be sitting here all day long. Not a bad place to, to sit, as you can see. There's a nice, uh, nice lake, so it's not, uh, not like he's sitting looking at a, at a brick wall of, a, of an adjacent apartment building or something like that. But uh, he's just reading his, uh, reading his Reader's Digest. And, you know, my, uh, I, I, there's, no, <laughs> there's not a chance in hell I could let the day go by and just let him sit there and, and uh, just have that. Because what he loves the most, aside from his coffee, is he loves to read the paper. You bring him three, four, five papers, he'll, that, that'll keep him busy from morning till night. And then he also really loves chili. So I've got a little package here. This is kind of a long intro for what's going to be a very short experience, or moment, I should say. So I got him his chili, got him a grilled cheese sandwich. He loves grilled cheese sandwiches. And then, uh, and then I've got him three newspapers. And then, uh, yes, of course, I've got him some, some crackers. So he doesn't know that I'm coming back. He thinks that uh, I'm not going to be back until about 5 o'clock tonight or something like that. So I just want to share with this. He's not going to be able to hear me because he won't have his hearing aids in. But uh, he'll be able to, to look inside and, and see what's in here. And, and you'll be able to see, the I'm sure, the, uh, the, the, the pleasure on his face or the, the, uh, the happiness on his face, if you will. So let's go inside and, uh, and, and, and drop off Dad's lunch. So here's the home that we find ourselves situated at. And as I was just uh, saying a little bit earlier, it really is a beautiful, beautiful setting. And I'd be willing to bet that my dad is probably sitting down in the lower level. So I'm going to, uh, I left the door open and he'll probably see me, at least I would hope. He'll probably see me and come uh, come out let's see and as I walk down I'll show you the the view out here 
Look at that view. Isn't that beautiful? And then my dad is actually, uh, he is actually right there. I see him. I don't know, he doesn't see me yet, but he will in just a moment. He's hard of hearing, so I can't really, uh, there he is. Now he sees me. Okay. So here he comes. He's got a smile on his face, just like I thought. Morning, Tom. I got a delivery. You're back early. A delivery. Huh? Yeah. Careful. Okay. <laughs> open, open it up. Open it up. Open it up. Yeah. So you got some chili. What's in there? Did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> so he likes that. You know I like that. All right. And then you, you got some, some of that? You got some newspapers. Huh? You got some newspapers. Morning paper? Okay. Where's your hearing aids? Hey. Dad. Hey. That's great. Where are your hearing aids? They're right here. Okay. So I've been dying to ask him this question, and we'll see if uh, he can put his hearing aids in and, and, and answer. Let's see. Put in your hearing aid. I put some new ones in here. All right. I have a question for you. These are no. Can you hear me now? I saw a boat out here. Do you hear me? They were fishing. Do you hear me? Wait a minute. Okay, get in the other hearing aid. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Testing, can you hear me? Right. Okay, I have a question for you. Go ahead. All right. Whenever I put you on my videos on the internet, all the women say you're so adorable. <laughs> so what's your secret? What, are you, what, what do I need to know so that all the women are, are saying the same thing about me, that I'm so adorable? I'm not sure. I'm huh? not sure. I'm you're, not sure. You're not, you're not sure, huh? So anyway, they, and, and if, I guess anybody out there watching this video, if they know a nice woman that's in her, what, 60s, 70s, that would like to meet a nice man like you? Uh, what, what's your age range? You'd like to meet a nice lady, right? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? <clears throat> no. Because at my age, they're all beautiful. Yeah, your age, they're all beautiful, yeah. huh? All right, so anyway, I'm going to go to work, and I'll leave you here. Okay. So you you got everything you need here? Oh, I'm fine here. I'm fine. All right. Uh, have you been into Omaha yet? No, I'm going to Omaha now. Oh, well, where were you then this morning? I was at the supermarket. Okay, all, all right. right. Now, do I owe you something for this? No, you don't owe me anything. Huh? No. What is this, chili? Chili. The chili I can have later. You can have that later. I Did can you? heat that up and maybe, maybe have some, uh, I'm just going, I got to pay a couple of bills. Did you figure out the, uh, did you figure out the coffee maker? Yeah. The, the that worked well. The coffee maker's fine, no problem. I made eight cups. Okay. Yeah. You want to say hi to my friend Todd out there who watches my videos every day? Your friend Todd? His name's Todd. Todd, how are you? I hope you have a, a real nice day. Okay, there you go, Todd. A shout out, shout out from Dad. Have okay. a great day. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, so you can see I've uh, put on my uniform, or the closest thing that you'll ever see me to wearing a uniform. And uh, I'm on my way back into uh, Omaha. But uh, in doing so, I'll share this thought with you. And that is, uh, as simple of a moment as that was, um, you know, or maybe as precious of a moment as that was, uh, that's a moment that I'll be able to relive the rest of my life. You know, my dad is, uh, he's 86 years old, and God love him, you know, he's here until he's 186. But uh, 
when when he is gone, you know that that's the type of moment that I want to be able to relive. You know, like him saying, "When his when you get to his age, all women are beautiful." You know, so uh, I don't think I'm quite at that age yet. You know, <laughs> but uh, but I'm getting there. So anyway, um, now it's uh, now it's off to work. <laughs>